What up? Happy Monday. I'm here with two of my besties, Shannon Moore and Allie Campbell. Hi. Yep. Allie is my trainer at the gym. We work out together on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. And then Shannon has joined our workout group too, and we have immediately fallen in love with her. Super real, super down to earth, and she has a lot of cool talents that we're going to glean from today. She is a clinical nutritionist. She graduated with her master's degree from Florida State University. Some of you may recognize her because she's a Tallahassean. Yes. And she owns some of our favorite bars <laughs> that we hang out at all the time and we go dancing at. Um, so that's what she does full time. She's not practicing what dietitian. You're not a practicing not right dietitian now. right not now. Right now. That's, that's her background. So what we thought we'd do today is talk about upping your nutritional game because I thought I was pretty healthy. Allie, I'm sure you Feel like you're pretty healthy and then you look at Shannon and you're like yeah I'm not very oh, well, we're healthy <laughs> we're pretty healthy but um, I took a class with Allie a couple Fridays ago and Stafford actually looked at Shannon and he was like who is that girl that was standing next to us and just because oh. <laughs> you are so fit she's yoked that's what he said you were yoked yes. he was like who is that so she's taken her fitness and her nutrition game to a whole nother level and so we have a lot to learn from each other I don't learn from Allie all the time I'm learning from Shannon yes. now too and we always are sharing ideas, so we have some ideas for you guys today. We thought we'd just have a casual conversation. Welcome to the show, Shannon. Thank you. I'm yeah, glad to be here. Too. And I have known Shannon for probably, I would say eight years. Eight years yeah. or so. Yeah. And I've seen Shannon transform herself because Shannon was working out. I've always worked out. She's always Ran worked out. out. But there's a difference between working out and taking your diet to a whole yes. nother level. That's true, and I thought that was interesting that you shared that a couple weeks ago, Shannon, that like you always worked out, and I'm the same way, I've always worked out with Allie in some capacity, but then you go home and you just were eating whatever you wanted. How did that, well, what did that change? I that? think I ate healthy. I always, I, even when I practiced, I own Fuel Nutrition Consulting, I always um, really tried to pay close attention to what I ate, but didn't really focus on so much of the needs of being a woman in your 40s and how your um, calorie needs change, your body changes, and everybody's unique to that. So I really started focusing on that and um, took about a year off of exercising when I, uh, when we redid our business and just pretty okay. much ate whatever I wanted. It was fun. And um, <laughs> then, I, then I, I um, hit perimenopause and I was like, oh my goodness. So I was, you know, probably 20 pounds heavier than I had ever been mm -hmm. and decided that I really needed to practice what I know yeah. and um, really applied a lot of my knowledge and um, to exercising and eating healthy. So, um, and that took you to a whole nother level, right? I mean, cause you said you were working out before and eating yeah. healthy, but you took it like to a whole nother level, which I think is going to be fun for us because I did. we eat healthy, but maybe not all of this. Yeah. Maybe Allie does. <laughs> we have a bunch of ideas in front of us. Yes. So well, my big thing is I keep it real. I mean, I really, um, try, I love to cook and I love to think of new ideas and, um, ways to use food that tastes good, but then yet is healthy mm -hmm. for you. Look for um, opportunities to eat, you know, a certain kind of chip instead of like regular tortilla chips, yeah. right? Eating a chip that may give you a little bit more nutrition bang for your buck. Um, Keep you fuller. Because, yes. and I, I want to interrupt for one second because I think that the most important thing here is you have to do something that is sustainable for life. Yes. Right. It's not a diet. It's nope. a way of life. This is the way we try to eat on pretty yes. much a daily basis or yes. I say 80, 85% of the right. time. Yes. Yeah. So whenever someone deprives themselves of something, then sometimes that can work for a short term. Right. But then after a while, am I correct? Because You're setting I, yourself up to fail. Um, it's not a diet. It's not. I mean, it's about making a lifestyle change, making food choices that you're going to do for the rest of your life, um, and loving yourself and right. having realistic goals for yourself. Right. And um, listening to your body. I mean, there's so many things that go into being balanced. Um, so, and every body, every body is different. Right. So, what works for one person may not work for another person. So, when I work with clients one on one, um, 
I really try to tailor that to someone's age, someone's activity, um, their lab work, you know, their hormone levels, what they're going through, because what works for you may not work for you. Right. And we all have, most of us have children and families, and we also have to do, we also have to choose eating and nutrition um, goals that we can have a normal life with our kids. I mean, when you go, you want to go take your kids to go have ice cream. Well, you should be able to have ice cream. Right. And you shouldn't feel yes. like you have to make two dinners at no, night. No, no, I feel like or, that. <laughs> girl, you need to let me go. I always make two dinners. Because at the end of the day, I'm not a nutritionist or a dietitian, but I'm a personal trainer that ha I have worked with yeah. women and men and families mm -hmm. for the last 20 years. And mm -hmm. I just, you know, I want this to be something that in 10 years from now, you're not um, still saying, oh, I'm trying to do this mm -hmm. low carb thing and I can't, you know, or, or right. you're just doing, because unfortunately I see that a lot. I mm -hmm. see people cycle through and, and the end, when they're that. cycling mm -hmm. through these diets or whatever, their weight's also going up and down and that's right. messing with your metabolism. Yeah. Am I correct? Yes, it is. You don't want, the more you restrict your calories, the less calories your body's going to need. And so there's a lot to that. And um, the whole exercise piece of it. So you definitely want to pay attention to your calories because calories are important and a lot of times we think we are We think we're oh what, 1800 calories is a lot. No, it's not it is not a lot and When you get to know when you start getting to know your labels and mm -hmm. getting to know like how the nutrition the, nutri the nutrition content of certain foods, it really does add up quickly. It does. So, so tracking is still important and that's something I feel like it, it, you don't have to be obsessed with it, no. but at least people who are just getting started on their fitness and nutrition journey, I think it's an important component because a lot of people are deceiving themselves. Yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. are. I, I just was telling Lisa and Shannon that when I am tracking my calories through my Fitness Pal app, which is what I use, um, sometimes it makes me stop and go, mm -hmm. mm, this isn't worth it. I really don't. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Do I really need I've got 600 this? calories left for the day, so I'm really not going to have these pretzels or, you know. Right. So, and I know that's not where yeah. it's strain. Well, on that same course though, like how would you describe all of the stuff in front of you? How would you describe your diet as a whole? <laughs> and then let's go ahead and get yeah. into some of these options. Well, I try to eat real food, and what I mean by real food is food in its most natural state, most of the time. Um, I try to get the majority of my calories from good sources of protein, um, good sources of carbohydrate, um, lots of uh, vegetables, non-starchy vegetables. Right here, look at the um, shape of her body. <laughs> <laughs> I eat fruit, um, you know, good fats. Um, so and I try to never be hungry. That is the right. one thing that yeah. I always pay attention to is always eating on a regular basis mm -hmm. So I never feel hungry and I never feel stuffed. I never eat to the point where I feel stuffed mm -hmm. um, A lot of times people too are really dehydrated and so you feel like you're hungry and you really just need to be drinking more water and more that's liquid mm -hmm. um, So that especially when you're working out, you know, that's really important so I, I, you know, I, I think that I don't eliminate foods. I think that there are there are medical conditions and people have certain uh, food allergies where they have to avoid certain foods. So sometimes eliminating a food group can really cause some bad, um, I don't know, like... Uh, you don't mean donuts, though. You eliminate donuts. Yeah, eliminate Yeah, okay. <laughs> but, but no, okay. there are there are healthy donuts out there. There, there are, are donuts that are made with, like, all these awesome flours, like coconut flour and almond flour. And, I mean, there's ways to have those kinds of things. It's not going to be the same as a processed donut. Right. I mean, it's not. Okay. Um, it's okay. So, and I have not, I have not gone to some of the new donut places yeah. in Midtown, and I'm sure if I did, those would be amazing. But I just haven't, you know. I try, I try on a regular basis to just not have those things, and um, but I do buy those things too because my children need right. to learn to have those things around them exactly. and not to overeat. You know, and I do the exact same thing. Yeah, Someone too. once looked at my pantry and said, "I cannot believe you have pop tarts," and I said. I'm sorry, right. I, I'm not eating Pop Tarts, but I also mm -hmm. want my kids to learn right. everything in moderation. That's, right. That and I did not healthy. grow up being deprived. No. And so I think that actually set myself up for a healthier. Yes. I mean, I, I feel mm -hmm. like I've always had a I want to eat these things. Mm -hmm. And I think that, that I think that's awesome because I and I so I've helped my kids 
they they choose. My son will choose fruit mm -hmm. in public. So he'll it's say, so, "Can I get the container of fruit?" I probably spend forty dollars a week on fruit. Oh, well, exactly. I have four yeah. children too, by yes. the way. So yes, and they they love to eat. They love to eat. Oh yeah. Yes. So, but okay. um, yeah, let's I can get just into it. I brought like a few. Th I brought like a ton of things. But I'll be really honest with you guys. I'm a Trader Joe's junkie. Yes. Yeah, I love love, love 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 that store. I wanted to film this from Trader Joe's. We but... wanted to, but we thought they might like say something. So yeah, I'm a little <laughs> obsessed with Trader Joe's. So, People um, may not want to be in the video, no. so you know we have um, to. I also just to go ahead and tell you, I order all my meat from Butcher Box. Um, Butcher oh, Box okay. is, delivers your beef to your house. It's all grass-fed beef. Um, I do buy my protein from Whole Foods and from um, Costco, from you know from Publix too. But I just started really ordering it from there. It also helps with spending money. Okay. Because I always like I'll go to the store and I'll be like. Oh my gosh, I want this, I want this, I want this. And so when I get my meat, I plan my meals around all the meat that I get. Okay. And um so That's a great idea. Yeah. Chicken, fish, so it all comes in and then every week I just, you know, plan what I'm gonna cook and go right. get my vegetables and all that. Um, okay, so first I will start off with okay. So much to choose from. Yeah. So okay, I love chips and salsa. Do you yeah, I mean, I know I, everybody I love, loves I love anything crunchy, like once in a while yeah. I just have to have something crunchy. So I'll hand you some so, of the um Yes, yeah. so I just kind of brought I brought a few different options to just like regular tortilla chips, and I'm sure some, I'm sure everybody has had these before. The plantain chips at Trader Joe's are yummy. I love them. Um, and you can take these. This is a, a nacho chip that I ordered on Thrive Market. Thrive Market's another place where I order a lot of stuff. They deliver it to your house. Um, you get a discount for just signing you up. You do, yes. And things, a lot of things will be a little bit cheaper than going to Whole Foods. Um, to I'll get put all of this in the description too yeah. because um, give us all these ideas for where you order okay. and then we'll go back and I'll stick sure. them in there, girl, so that you can find that and then ask your questions in the comments. Let us know you're on too. So a lot of times I'll mix these chips up. And so these are made out of yucca, yucca root. Okay. Um, I'm sure everybody's probably had fried yucca before when you go to a Cuban restaurant or a Mexican restaurant. But these are these have a, a little bit of a flavoring to them, a nacho flavoring, so the kids do not even know that my kids do not know the difference. Hold these up into the camera. Yep. Um, That's cool. I never have heard of that. Yep. And this is another yucca uh, root chip that I ordered too that tastes really, really yummy. Um, so I'll mix all these together and I personally love the chunky, spicy um, guacamole from Trader Joe's. It's my delicious. favorite too. I put that on eggs. Yes. Oh, yummy. meat. Any, I mean, this mm -hmm. thing, this stuff. And now it's a little spicy for the little it's ones. So good. Yeah. But it's really, really yummy. So for some reason, their guacamole tastes way better at Trader Joe's, like all of them, mm -hmm. than Publix. Yeah, because I get the individual mm -hmm. servings. Mm -hmm. That they have. Trader Joe's has the six, the little single single yep. servings. Yep. Yes, they because do. Because my daughter and I both, if we don't have time to peel an avocado, we'll just throw that on. Yeah, our Yeah, this one is kind of tough. Because you kind of got to eat you the have whole to do, thing. You really do. You it have. turns brown. Yeah. So, um, so that that's just one snacky type option that I really really love. Um, another great thing about Trader Joe's are their vegetables. I kind of go nuts when I go there, but one of my favorite things to do is roast vegetables or saute a bunch of vegetables and um, season them. And I'll talk about seasonings in a minute. But their butternut squash is a great alternative to like stir-fried potatoes. I mean, you get a little bit of extra nutrition in the butternut squash. I and they roast do taste it. like sweet potatoes. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I roast it. Um, they have crinkle cut butternut squash that the kids like too, so it's kind of like french fries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then they have great Brussels sprouts that are already seasoned, so you can mix these together, um, serve it with whatever protein you're going to have. So you Super do easy. your Brussels sprouts in a pan? Sometimes. You know, sometimes I, cut, I buy the whole ones and cut them in half. And I'll toss them with olive oil, mm -hmm. put them on a cookie sheet. I mean, like whatever vegetables you want, you can do that. Right. Um, roast them in the oven for like probably 30 minutes, okay. 350 or 400, and then toss them with lemon juice, salt, and pepper. Okay. But you have to make sure that they're cooked really well. Yeah. Same Brussels thing with broccoli, yeah. um, that kind of stuff. Um, another really great um, thing that Trader I've Joe's has, that. this is a cruciferous crunch. Um, salad mix. It's kale, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, green cabbage, and red cabbage. Oh, wow. It and is delicious. I've never yeah. that. That's great. That's I mix idea. this with Put sometimes balsamic vinaigrette uh -huh. to make like a vinaigrette type coleslaw. I've mixed it with, and this has gotten mixed reviews at my house, but it's an almond butter, turmeric, 
salad dressing from Trader Joe's mm. um, with lemon juice, ginger, turmeric, and black pepper. So I've mixed it with that before. Mm -hmm. um, this stuff you can also saute, mm -hmm. like a, with, you know, so you can eat it raw or cooked. Really good stuff though. Get your greens in and um, lots of nutrition. That looks delicious. Um, okay. Hmm, what should I pick next? How are we doing? Time? Well, wraps are one I'm interested in just because we eat a lot of low carb wraps, but if okay. there's a better option. These are these are coconut wraps. Raw vegan. Um, there's no gluten. Um, they are really thin. I ordered these from Thrive Market. Oh, you again. Do? Okay. But these are they have a, like a little sweet taste in them because they're okay. made out of coconut flour. But you can I've wrapped eggs in them. I've made like, you know, like just a meat, okay. lettuce, veggie wrap. Mm -hmm. um, really, really great option. Um, I'll have to let you guys taste them. So okay. Go. Um, um, so one of the latest and greatest things that I found at Trader Joe's is this cauliflower tabbouleh. And I personally just am in love with cauliflower rice, mm. cauliflower mashed yeah. potatoes. Mm -hmm. And um, this stuff is, if you like Middle Eastern food, it's, it's delicious. I eat it cold. Um, it's seasoned really, really well, and a lot of times they're out of it. So if you, you, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes mm -hmm. at Trader Joe's, mm -hmm. if you really, really like some, you have to get two of them because right. they'll be gone. Right. But um, it's just a, it's just a grain-free twist on um, a Middle Eastern food. Do you eat it with food, or is that kind of like a snack item? Like you could eat that just as a like. Would you eat that with a chip? You could eat this with the chip. Oh, okay. Um, I ate it the other day and put some chicken. I've got that. Oh, okay. I brought that chicken. Um, I put it on a plate. I can probably put, give you the picture of it, or maybe I sent I it to you. I think you did send that. Yeah, I, I just, I sometimes I just keep this chicken on hand just to throw on stuff. So I threw some chicken on that, and then I added this. Um, they also have a Middle Eastern type pesto mm. there that's um, really, really good. Um, you, they also have this, uh, it's a vegan kale cashew basil pesto. Yummy. There's nothing wrong with regular pesto. Mm -hmm. I'm just obsessed with Trader Joe's and <laughs> this has kale in it and cashews in it. So it's got extra nutrition mm -hmm. in it. Um, you don't need a lot of it. I get, this is high in calorie too, just so you know, like a quarter, a cup of this has 180 calories. The calories are coming wow. from excellent sources, but you do need to pay attention right. to mm -hmm. that, to those things. Um, Okay, I really want to talk, talk about snacks because yes. um, one thing I want to mention about snacks is snacks are really important, but you also have to work snacks into whatever amount of calories that you need a day. So that's different. Some people, 80 calories for a snack. Some people, 150 calories for a snack. I mean, it just depends on you and your activity level and the amount of calories you need. So I brought a couple different things. Um, these they sell at Trader Joe's are called Chomps. They're grass-fed beef sticks, and each of these are 100 calories and um, no sugar in them. And, and no carbs, right? And yeah, mm -hmm. and I buy kids them like those. My son yeah. loves those. I have to say to him, only one a day away. Like mm -hmm. just put one in your lunch. Cause because like eating 14 at a time. <laughs> Because <laughs> they're you. good. Because they they're do really taste good, yeah. good. And they put them where the candy is. Right, they do. I love it. Like, they put them where the candy it's, is. They're at the very front when you're checking out of Trader Joe's. Right there in that yeah. little um, um area. Okay, so another fave at my house are these Perfect Bars. Um, they have all different kinds of flavors in them, but... Um, they're just, they're delicious. They have almond butter. They have like a sea salt chocolate. There's 13 grams of protein. Um, these have about three, a little over 300 calories. So you may just want to break one in half and have half of it and save the other half for later. But it's packed with great nutrition, 20 plus superfoods in this bar. So wow. they do have them at Trader Joe's. And that's a great alternative to the Kind Bar. Yep. And I, yeah. to, I need to eat that instead. Okay. Another one are these, and they have these at Trader Joe's. These are the No BS. Yeah. Oh, cool. Um, 12 grams of protein, and it tells you exactly what's in it. Three egg whites, six almonds, four cashews, two dates, and no BS. Chocolate and sea salt. That is Yum. cool. Can I hold that up yes. to them so they can see? Yep. No BS. And they do have all of their bars have the ingredients on the front. Yep. Yep. And That's neat. Okay. You That's like great. that? Have you had that? I've not had that. That perky jerky. It's turkey <laughs> beef. Turkey. Everybody needs to be perky. So... Turkey, perky, jerky. 
Um, I got that at Costco, but it's so good, and it's not like some beef jerky is right. really hard. Yes, and it's and it's, it's not, not as hard. I'm not a beef jerky. It's fan, not but delish. Um, okay, but snacks. Yes, I am the queen of peanut butter and almond butter, mm -hmm. peanut butter and an apple. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have Sh Shannon brought this, the PB two. Yes. Um, I put that in my smoothies typically instead of peanut butter because mm -hmm. it is, it does take my calorie count done mm -hmm. down a little bit yes. because I, I was even just reading an article that people make smoothies mm -hmm. and think that they are making a healthy drink. But after you add All two tablespoons time. of peanut butter, a banana, mm -hmm. you're, yeah. um, especially if you don't buy the 30 calorie almond milk and they buy the hundred calorie yeah. almond milk it adds up. and you add that 120 calories yes. from your protein powder. All of a sudden, you have a 600 calorie shake. Yep. Guilty. And that's <laughs> that's a meal plus some. Uh -huh. That's your I mean, or or that's a solid meal. That's not a snack. No. So um, this stuff. And that's powdered. And I peanut get butters. that from Costco. I never have even I, heard of it. See, that's I why I like was that great. stuff. Oh, from you don't. Mm -mm. I okay. taste tested. Just I'm just saying. This is my husband bought this for me, and he was like. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so expensive. I was like, yes, it is. And then okay, I, so found, it's I found it at Costco, but it does have an orange top, right? Yeah. Okay. I taste tested it and my kids taste tested it and they were like, mm. Oh, see, when I put it in the smoothie, you I can't tell the difference. Well, I oh, like to eat probably. this on these so whole line, grain crackers from uh, Trader Joe's. So they, you just mix that with water? This? Now, I the, oh. they do have a gluten-free... Um, cracker too but then those are a whole grain cracker that you can get so I like to mix up the PB2 like two tablespoons of PB2 with just water okay and banana and eat it with eat it on one of those okay um, but I think we I shared the food label with you you know two tablespoons of almond butter or peanut butter you're looking at close to 200 calories correct whereas two tablespoons of PB2 with water is 50 calories so like I, I just think like for a snack this, this may is the be better a better option, option if you're yes. really watching your calories or if you're just trying to, you know, make sure you're staying within what Right, you're or to stay. if you have done a workout and your smoothie is your yes. post recovery mm -hmm. drink, yep. you don't need 600 no. calories to recover from no. your workout. Nope. So, so you mix that with water though? Is I mix it with water in a and bowl. And then you spread it yes. onto these. Okay. And or these, I take okay. little banana slices and I'll just cut my, because, you know, yeah. we talked about that earlier too. Mm -hmm. Like bananas nowadays are like two servings. So I cut a banana. Yes, yeah, they are. Cut it in little little rounds, and then I'll just put dollops put of peanut butter. Here. Yeah. Okay. So and then if you put those, and in the these are so seven yeah. grams of yes. carbs per cracker, and they're very large. Yep. So you can see. So like that's a piece really of good. bread. Yeah. I would right. say. Except it's a hundred. Well, it's one hundred and ten calories for one cracker. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Like and they're they're filling because there's lots of fiber, lots right, and lots right, of fiber. Right, right. Whole grain for yes. good for you. And and I've talked to them about this before, but the, with snacks, it's all about preparation. Yep. You know, because I know a lot of my friends make fun of me for carrying food everywhere I go. Like I have it stashed in my pocket and mm -hmm. my purse and my bags. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> but it's because I'm so scared of getting hungry and then making a bad choice. Right. Well, I can talk a little bit about that. Let's do we it. have time? Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. okay. So you asked me like, what are what are some things like that. You know, you have to face like not your day to day at home, being mm -hmm. able to choose what you want to eat. Well, I travel a lot. My girls play volleyball, so we travel a ton, and so I, I just load up the groceries in the car when right. we travel, and right. I take all of our snacks and I pack all I pack snacks for the kids because they don't really know the difference anyway. And a lot of times it's funny because all the moms are like, "What are you eating? What do you have? Mm -hmm. What do you have?" Mm -hmm. Because if you don't bring your right. own stuff, you're going around to all the little vendors, right. basically getting junk food. That's right. right. So. Um, Preparation is key. I mean, you should be able yes. to take... Stafford can't make fun of me anymore. No, that's... <laughs> I, I take my little lunch box with my little coolers that's in it. Right. And, you know, and I'm sharing food with everybody. You yep. know, try this, try that. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I mean, it really is about being prepared. And Absolutely. Taking the time. And, and it's okay for you to take your own stuff. I mean, it's if you're trying to work hard, then the, those are the things that you have to do. Mm -hmm. um, and, and not having enough time is probably one of the things that I hear most often mm -hmm. from my clients. And so I'm always offering up like, how about make a batch of overnight oats and yes. put them in and go ahead and have them in your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. So that when you wake up, all you have to do is you, you mean, grab a spoon and walk out the door. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't care where you, you eat them in the car, but you need yeah. to eat breakfast. Or spend yeah. one day a week prepping. Like for if you make an egg casserole right. with the with the spinach and the turkey sausage and Which the egg whites, such a and fabulous then just grab the, just yeah. anything that you can grab. But if you can prep one day a week, yes, right. 
But in that, sometimes I'll do that while I'm making dinner. If I'm already chopping vegetables, mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and throw, throw an egg casserole together. into the muffin tins, put them in baggies because then my kids can't say, Mom, there's nothing for breakfast. No, or, that's a great I don't idea. have time right. to. Mm -hmm. And so they grab those, stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds and, you know, can run out the door. That's right. So it's it's teaching your children yes. as well yeah. how to eat. Yes. Because I think what's sad um, is that Americans today don't. No. There are not calories on most menus. And no. people go through Starbucks and have a drink that may be 500 or 600 was calories. and the school the other day they don't know. eating lunch with my daughter. And she was eating at school. And they had pancakes in a plastic bag that they just threw in the microwave. Two hash browns, sausage, and applesauce, and I was just like, "Sugar, sugar, sugar." Yeah, why? Mm -hmm. You know, you know. That's why I try to pack her food that's right on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So, um, question you know. for you, though, too, Shannon. Yeah. Do you weigh yourself? How often? Like, well, how do you keep yourself accountable? Since you don't really track, you really try to eat whole and really moderate mm -hmm. that way. I think it's important to be at a good place with numbers with yourself and not obsess over it. But I think it's important to know what is a healthy weight for, for everybody should know what a healthy weight is for them and try to maintain that weight when you achieve it. And it comes from listening to your body, knowing input it, what you put in versus what you put out and burn. Well, um, and that can be easily found too. I think that's important mm -hmm. first step for anybody is to go online, look at a calendar and go, okay, based or a calculator and say, based on my height, yes. based on my age, yes. my yeah. activity level, what is an appropriate yep. amount? Well, Just so you know. The USDA, the one that I sent to you all the yes. other day. The that's USDA, an excellent resource. Um, all you It took, what, five seconds yes. to, mm -hmm. to enter Absolutely. your information and actually sent back what yes. how many grams of pretty much everything you every kind eat. of vitamin yes and you know what I'll do is I'll post that in the comments the link, after we got done good. today yes. my fitness pal is great I personally use the Fitbit Ionic um, and I use my Fitbit a lot because I really pay a lot of attention to my sleep too on top of my exercise and my nutrition because which is a whole nother conversation I, yeah. because everyone should be getting sleep yes so, um, but I also want to just say, um, I, um, did the testing at Premier, um, last week. The it's in-body testing. In -body testing. Yes. I highly recommend it. Um, and then tomorrow I'm doing the core, core test that tells me my basal metabolic rate and all that. They I have. I still want to do that. It's yeah, so awesome. It's, it's very interesting. And if you are a Premier member right now, um, from May 1st through the 15th, we're offering a buy one, get one test. Okay. So for forty dollars, you can either you do that, a, an in-body test and then retest in three months, six months, however long you want, or you can buy the in-body and then do the core, mm -hmm. which it's got fabulous information. And I'm here to attest that I've done the bod pod at Florida State. I've done the metabolic testing um, in South Florida, and my numbers were spot on, very similar to both of those. Mm -hmm. What numbers. is it telling you though? Like, is it telling you your um, the fat content on your body, where you're at. I mean, what is it? It's telling you your visceral oh, fat. Okay. It's telling you your what, how much muscle you have yeah, in your trunk, to the, all, all of your body, body parts. parts. It, it measures out your body parts, so okay. you would know. It's interesting because I saw clients on um, in body the other day, and she had significantly more muscle muscle in one arm, and she said it's oh, because wow. she carries a baby right on one in arm. the right arm, mm -hmm. and so at, at all times she's got thirty extra, mm -hmm. you know, however mm -hmm. much the baby. I mean, he's a toddler now, but yeah. he's got she's got that extra weight there, so it has built up her yeah. right arm. I said you need to be switching arms. Wow, yeah, working on the other. That, arm. Yeah. Okay. Well, one other thing I just want to add before I go yeah. is um, one of the major things that I changed up, and I think I mentioned this is. You know, as getting older, I'm 47 years old, in full menopause, I've had four children, is that I stopped doing some of the exercise that I had done for so long and changed that up and really added more strength training in. Um, I never lifted weights. <laughs> I on. never lifted weights. <laughs> I never went to Pilates. I never, all I did was run, 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 mm -hmm. run, 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 run. And now I have a bunch more muscle mass, and combined with good nutrition, it you can really see the and results. And she's the smallest she's ever so been. So don't be afraid of to pick up the weights. That's picking right. up weights. I just love it when they you say gotta that. put you gotta have all of the things 
working. You can't, you know, whenever I used to run and all that kind of stuff, I thought, oh, well, I ran and I burned all these calories, so, you know, I can eat pizza or this. But when you're trying to achieve mm -hmm. result, and a pizza is okay, all I'm saying is when you're working hard to lose weight, then that's one thing. Then you really have to have everything in order. Right. When you're trying maintain. to maintain, you have to have balance. So it depends balance, on exactly. where where you're at with things. But you you cannot work out all the time and not have your nutrition in order, or you'll be like the hamster in the, right. the wheel, right. running like running and frustrated. Right. So exactly. That's a really really good point because we even talked about that a few weeks ago. Li lifting weights, lifting weights, lifting weights. I think that's key, and we're, I'm convinced it makes your skin look better. Too. Mm -hmm. Well, and then and there's the other like the, fountain <laughs> the fact that as we age, our bone density decreases. Yep. So you need to lift the weights. Right. Um, my mom is fabulous about swimming and um, doing Zumba and stretching. Yep. And I'm like, Mom, you have to get back in there and lift the weights. Mm -hmm. And she's like, oh, okay. Especially <laughs> for perimenopause some, and postmenopausal yeah. women. I mean, I just had a DEXA, DEXA scan done. I have some osteopenia, so I've got to start on vitamin D and calcium. So I will continue to do the weight-bearing exercises and depend on mm -hmm. Allie over here to help me with that. So, um, so yeah. So you know, don't use your age. Don't use that as an excuse. It's achievable. You just have to have the resources and believe in yourself. Believe in yourself. You know, yes. and, and not be hard on yourself and beat yourself up. So Yeah, because every meal's a new meal and every day is a new day. And we say that all the time right. in our weight training, which is basically like daily therapy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> when we eat really bad, we're like, tomorrow's a new day. Tomorrow's that's a right. new day. That's right. And, and I think that that's probably why Shannon is an inspiration to me mm -hmm. because every reason that people ever give me for why they cannot lose weight True. or change their body, Shannon has defied all of that. So, I th because you were, you were a chronic exercise. I mean, you exercised all was the a time. chronic exercise. But <laughs> you didn't really change your body until you no. put, and it's what she said. She knew what to do. You knew what to do. Mm -hmm. The first time I saw Shannon after she came back, I said, there was a little person inside of you. Mm -hmm. And I didn't yeah. mean it no, ugly I because I never would have thought you were overweight to begin with. I thought you were healthy, but I didn't. Isn't it crazy when small people lose weight? You're like, wow, that was, well, wow. I'm like, I'm like do, do I have a little person? I don't have a little person. I don't think Allie, I do either. Allie and I wish we had little people because, inside of us. Uh, well, Allie and I are just, we're just you're so muscular petite. girls. And honestly, when I saw, even she is so muscular. And when I saw her weight, I was so surprised because I actually thought you would weigh more because of your muscle yeah. mass. I yeah. really did. You're really That's small. why I was shocked. Yes, can you, you're can tiny. You before yes. you go, I mean, look, look at, at that. that arm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh, yeah. Yes. And her whole body looks like that. <laughs> she, she's well, amazing. Let me just say, she's I have an amazing mama for who's gone through menopause. Who's I, going have, through menopause. I have a 21 year old and I have a six year old and I want to be around and be healthy and strong and be able to live my life with my six-year-old like I did with right. my 21-year-old. So that has a lot to do with me making the changes I made. Also, you know, I don't want to be on multiple medications. I've worked right. in nursing homes. I've worked in dialysis clinics. I don't want to do that. So you have to, you have to take care of the things that you can control. You can control your diet. You can control your exercise mm -hmm. and all the preventative things you can do. Some things are hereditary and genetic, and you're not going to fight that. Right. But do what you can um, to try to you know, fight the odds right. of mm -hmm. those things happening. Well, that's and, you, awesome. and you're always going to be tired, so... <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, too, but yeah. I've got to go teach spin in 15 minutes. Yeah, right. so, you know. <laughs> and you're probably going to spin. <laughs> but no, no. But, um, <laughs> but you just so... You, so I think per, being prepared, Yes. if you could take something away from mm -hmm. this, it would be, you know, stop getting caught up, I would say, in the... I can't have, right? Mm -hmm. But maybe you know, look changing. for alternatives look. To, to foods. You know, mm -hmm. like if you really like ice cream, I love ice cream. You know, look for an alternative to the high fat, um, high sugary. Um, we talked ice about creams. those a few months ago. Was the Greek bars, the Greek ice oh the cream yeso bars, bars. Yes. and then I do the Chloe mm -hmm. popsicles. Mm -hmm. They're so just you get that fruit. Fix, but you get and that I personally fix. am addicted to Halo Top and Chili Cow. If you haven't had it, I, they need to hire me. <laughs> <laughs> As your spokesperson. Oh, 
that's that in my kids now my kids are athletes so when they when they go out all day or they have a hard practice they'll eat some of that because they're getting back some good protein it's cold it tastes good but oh my gosh if you See, haven't tried those things they are delicious. you might have to put those in the description yeah too, and, and now you know it's funny because them. i'm not an ice cream person yeah I am addicted to nuts, so mm -hmm. I have to actually put the nuts away sometimes because yeah. I will overeat nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the same way. Same way with all the tra mm -hmm. Trader Joe's bags. It's yep. funny because they have the individual ones, and I feel like, oh, yeah. those are so small. <laughs> it's a serving <laughs> it's size. Not enough. It's not enough. I need more nuts. So, um, but yeah. hopefully, those are some things you could take away and some good ideas. And we'll post those in the description too, so you know where to go. But one more thing you did not bring that is delicious is I recently Shannon suggest Shannon showed me the difference between almond shredded. Mozzarella. Oh yes. And, and regular almond. mozzarella yes. cheese. Ooh. Yes. So she put she sent me the back of both packages of cheese. I subbed out the almond mozzarella mozzarella with from my Trader kids, Joe's from Trader Joe's That's on my a few things for my kids. They did not even know the difference. They won't okay. know the difference. It was delicious. So good. So unless you're just a cheese guru of yep. mozzarella. Yeah. You know, maybe it's but out all the all the all it the did. things it that out, so. you don't need in the regular cheese and that's awesome. The cheese it was delicious. Delicious. I'm putting that in the in the comments too. Yeah. I'm gonna put as much as I can because we have a lot of pictures of some of these things yep. into the description so that you guys can go back. And also if you have any questions um for Shannon or for Allie, put them in the comments and then they'll answer those throughout the day. And thanks for bearing with us in our gym clothes today. Yes. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. We'll keep it up. We'll Thank do it you. again. And yeah, thanks for having me. Thanks for coming, Shannon. Oh, thanks, thanks for having, having us. us. Love you guys. Love you too. All right, we'll see you next Monday. Bye. Bye.